How did you do that? Come on! Come find me when you wake up! Admit it. At one point, we all wanted to play the same day on a loop. To fix past mistakes or to go all out crazy. But the reality of loops and endless cycles is that there's a purpose behind them. Which movies did it best? Welcome to See Next. Today, we're ranking the top 10 best time loop movies of all time. Get your popcorn ready, set, and let's go. Stop! There's a bomb in the cake. Don't worry, I used to be a bomb guy. Number 10, Before I Fall, 2017. Watch out for the trap. What trap? <sighs> I had to do something that would make a difference. It took a lot of time for Zoe Deutsch's character to realize why she's stuck in the loop. And that realization will punch you in the stomach. Because even though she's in a loop, paradoxically, you feel like there isn't enough time. What are we talking about in the first place? Deutsch's character, Queen Bee Samantha Kingston, is living a Wattpad dream life, the most popular friend group in high school, the perfect boyfriend. Until one night, her best friend's in the car with her. She blinks and it's all over via a car crash. But that's not the end, not really. Samantha is doomed to relive the same day all over again and discover how good of a friend, sister, and person she really is. Julia, wait! If I was going to relive the same day over and over, I want it to be a day that would make a difference. But not just for me. Number nine, The Map of Tiny Perfect Things, 2021. What have you been up to with, I mean, like, I guess, in infinite time? Oh, you know, like, solving crimes and, like, finding true love. One of the questions the map of Tiny Perfect Things answers is what most people would do if they were stuck on a seemingly pointless time loop. Mark has relived the same day over and over again, only to discover that another teenage girl is suffering the same fate, Margaret. They do everything, and we mean everything, to spend their infinite time. This movie also, non-coincidentally, punches you in the gut a few times. And it has the characters living through this following question, what would you do if you weren't who the loop was meant for? What is this? Oh, I dropped me. He made a map of us. I should go. Number eight, The Final Girls, 2015. Guys, somebody's coming. Hey, do you guys know the way to Camp Bluefin? Tina. So we're in the movie. Does anyone remember that Wizards of Waverly Place episode where they got stuck in a horror movie? This is kind of like that. It's the anniversary of Max's mother's death, famous screen queen actress Nancy Cartwright, who was killed off early in a slasher flick called Camp Bloodbath. When a fire erupts in the movie theater where they're playing a double feature of the Camp Bloodbath movies, Max and her friends find themselves launched into Camp Bloodbath. For Max, it's a chance to reunite with her mom, but with the deranged killer on the loose and trying to kill everyone at the camp, can they make it out of the movie alive? Go, 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 go! Help me! I'm not dead! Duncan! You're alive! <laughs> Number 7, Boss Level 2021. Hey, Jay! I have died 144 times, and every day ends like this. But it doesn't matter. Not when you've lost everything you've loved. POV. You saw Frank Grillo in The Purge and Marvel movies and thought he was fan fiction worthy too. No one's more resigned to his fate than Grillo's character, Roy, who's accepted that some cycles are doomed to be repeated and that there are some things you just can't redo. Now, put Grillo in a Joe Carnahan movie, have a villainous Mel Gibson, and have him violently repeat the same day all over again, and you have an amazing film. Every day, a litany of video game-esque assassins line up to kill him. Can he crack the code his scientist ex-wife left him to get out? Someone's been the busiest little beaver. Number 6. Happy Death Day 2017 You sneaky little biash. Happy birthday. I've already lived through this day. Somebody's gonna kill me tonight. This is, hands down, unique, even in a lineup of loot movies. Tree Galbum, played by the underrated Jessica Roth, wakes up in a strange guy's dorm room and has to come to terms with the very alarming fact that someone in a creepy mask is trying to kill her. Save for Tom Cruise, Tree might have actually been killed the most times. It's not so much a matter of becoming a better person for Tree as it is finding out who wants her dead and why this loop is happening to her with the help of, of course, the cute nerdy guy she woke up with. You scared me. 
Number five, Triangle, 2009. You know what I do when I have a bad dream? I close my eyes. Triangle is one of the eeriest loop movies of all time. It's outright bizarre, even. It starts out when a group of passengers seek refuge in a ship after their yacht overturns. This mysterious vessel erupts with violence. Nothing makes sense. The fresh food they walk past turns rotten minutes later, there's blood everywhere, and then everyone goes crazy, on a loop. And it all seems to be centered around single mom Jess. Triangle needs to be experienced, otherwise we'd spoil too much. Number 4, Source Code, 2011. Welcome back, Captain Stevens. Where am I? You are inside the source code. What is the source code? It's a computer program, Captain. Mission, stop a bomber from blowing up the Chicago commuter train. Protagonist, Jake Gyllenhaal as Army Pilot Stevens, in the body of a mysterious man. ETA, an infinite loop of eight minutes. Besides him is Christina, played by Michelle Monaghan. Can Steven see through the cobwebs of reliving the same eight minutes enough to detangle this sci-fi mystery? Source Code has been hailed as one of the greatest not just for being thought-provoking, but for the angle it took. What angle will that be? No spoilers. What would you do if you knew you had less than eight minutes to live? I'd make those seconds count. Number three, Palm Springs, 2020. Stop! There's a bomb in the cake. Don't worry, I used to be a bomb guy. Stand back! It's the wedding of your nightmares, doomed to repeat the same small talk and awkward encounters. With the groom you might have fooled around with, but there is one guest that stood out to Sarah. Anyone who's watched How I Met Your Mother flipped out when they heard about Kristen Milioti starring in a movie alongside Andy Samberg. This is a dual loop. Andy's character Niles is the one who's stuck in a loop. When Sarah comes along and gets herself stuck too, they have to relive her sister's wedding. Figure out how to stop this, fall in love, and evade the crazy other loop guy trying to kill them. Niles? Don't come in here! Number two, Groundhog Day, 1993. Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? Did I sleep well? Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. I think I'll have a double. Bill Murray's Groundhog Day is synonymous with the loop concept. We have Murray as Phil, the quintessential egotistical weatherman. He's assigned to Punxsutawney for an assignment with his producer, Rita, played by Andy McDowell. But when he wakes up the next day, it's February 2nd all over again. Watching Phil live life to the fullest, doing everything you would do if you were in a loop, which is whatever you want to do, is iconic. But when his unexpectedly immortal life grows tedious, Murray digs his way out by doing good deeds. I study 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aimera. You speak French. Oui. Before we reveal our first pick, let's look at some honorable mentions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. ARQ 2016. You don't have to believe me, but I need you to trust me. Hannah! They shot you. Happy Death Day to you, 2019. Oh my God, everything's different this time. It's coming after all of us. Time Crimes, 2007. Number one, Edge of Tomorrow, 2014. Your leg's broken. No, I'm good. Then we better start over. Oh, come on. Before you heard about Edge of Tomorrow, you might have already seen the iconic clip of Emily Blunt, mid push up, pushing yourself up to see Tom Cruise as he stumbles inside a training facility. This might be the only time Cruise isn't the skyscraper jumping baddie we're used to, but he does have some tricks up his sleeve. It's a loop, but this time it's against aliens. A deserter finds himself bathed with the blood of the eerily intelligent alien species, currently annihilating our world and reliving the same battle. And every day, he relays the information he got with Rita, aka Blunt, so they can conquer the alien invasion. I'm not a soldier. Of course you're not. You're a weapon. And those are the top 10 best loot movies of all time. What did you think? Did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below to be notified of new content.
Thanks for watching.